Guy Lazanov is a physician, and he is also the creator of a new kind of learning process called Suggestive Accelerative Learning and Teaching. Uh, Dr. Lazanov, we've heard a lot about SALT recently, but it hasn't been about learning. Most of it has been about SALT talks uh, between uh, uh, Russia and the United States. Perhaps you could explain to us what your meaning of SALT is. Um, that is a um, system of uh, teaching and learning based on uh, the conception that uh, all of the communicative processes are coming you know, at the same time on several levels. One of the level is uh, conscious, uh, reasonable, level of logical thinking. And the other levels are levels of more or less unconscious uh, communications. And uh, the suggestive uh, learning, that's a learning which is taking into consideration not only the conscious impressions we are receiving every time in every communicative process, is of course in the process of uh, teaching and learning as well, but also taking into consideration the um, different kind of more or less unconscious impressions we are receiving during the communications. And the suggestive accelerated learning is taking into consideration uh, namely those uh, uh, unconscious uh, processes, uh, connecting them with the conscious processes. Okay, maybe we need to have a specific example then. If um, you're going to uh, teach me German, Yes. And I'm coming into a classroom, and I'm assuming that I can learn faster doing this process. Is yes. that right? Okay, I'm coming into the classroom. What's the first thing you're going to do? Uh, it's difficult to explain in a few words, but uh, I could uh, tell that uh, uh, learning foreign languages by this system, we are applying uh, some kind of arts, music. Our students are in some parts of the process of teaching. Uh, they are listening to the music, especially chosen. That's music from pre-classic and classic, for example, Mozart, Beethoven, Vivaldi, Corelli. They are listening to the music, and at the same time, they are listening to the voice of the teacher. That's a kind of uh, recital. And now, how does the music help? Because the music, isn't, the music isn't intricately involved with the German language. Why do you have to have uh, music? The music is getting a psychological state uh, we need to open the uh, mind, to discover the reserves of mind. And music is helping us to um, help the brain and the mind to accept more information, to um, be able, on the basis of this information, to apply in practice. And music is creating not only conditions to open the mind, on a better level, but also music is um, helping us to better the process of education. In the same time, uh, teaching and learning the students, we are giving them a better education. How long would it take me to uh, uh, gain, uh, let's say, a conversational knowledge of German by your method? Um, by our method, uh, uh, foreign language, for example, ge German, in one month period, for example, in, that means 24 days. Is that an intensive kind of study yes. then? Every single day, four hours, five hours? Four, hours, four study periods, 45 minutes. In 24 days, you know, one month, without any homework, our students are able to accept about 2,000 new words and expressions, new. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the, ho the whole grammar and to the base of this material, they are able to speak and to read, of course. That is the first course. We have second course, yeah. third course, because that is an endless process. But what if a person likes silence? And then uh, uh, through this method, you're saying you have other kinds of relaxation techniques that are used. What if I like silence and I don't uh, want to have music? Uh, we are, uh, the music is helping us uh, to create this special kind of psychological relaxation. We would like to help the students to learn in a real psychological state, to be concentrated in and at the same time psychologically relaxed. Mm, that is, uh, possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is well known, for example, in ancient yoga practices, yogis uh, have been able to relax and concentrate themselves. We would like to create uh, similar psychological uh, conditions 
today mm -hmm. in our culture to help people to be able to concentrate themselves in a relaxed ecological state. Are there some subjects that cannot be taught by suggestive accelerative learning? All of the subjects could be um, studied by suggestive or accelerated learning. We understand suggest, uh, that the word suggestion in a wider way, that is a problem of communication. If a communication, every subject is a problem of communication and self-development. That mm -hmm. means that all of the subjects could be uh, learned by this uh, system. Dr. Lazanov, thank you very much. Dr. Georgi Lazanov, and he is a Bulgarian educator. He's also a physician. And his uh, method of teaching is called Suggestive Accelerative Learning and Teaching. And now we're going to turn to the weather. Here's Dean Bunting.